Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I have missed filming a bookish content for you guys, but finally I am back with another book content. So, um, I was kind of busy uploading our mini travel the summer 2020, and for that reason, I haven't uploaded any bookish content for you guys. If you have watched our latest upload, which is a little surprise by my boyfriend, he bought me three new books, and today I'm gonna be doing a reading vlog for that book. And yeah, if you're looking for more bookish content, we organize our playlist for you guys, so you can check out our playlist, click the Book Voyage Erica for more bookish contents for your book lovers out there. show you my three new books so you guys here are my boyfriend's gift for me these three new books so yeah let's get started so the first book i got here is the scent of death by simon beckett next is the benefit of hindsight by susan hill and the last one is the craftsman by sharon bolton so this are the new books that I got which my boyfriend bought for me for my birthday. So let me tell you something interesting. My boyfriend knows that I love thriller books like mystery, crime, psychological horror, any thriller book. And then this particular book, he chose it for me and I was like, what? And when I saw the cover, I was like, hmm, it's kind of um, an abandoned hospital. And I like it. I like the cover. I like the like a creepy vibe of this book. So I was like, Wow, he, I think he chose the right book for me. So anyway, for today's reading vlog, I decided I'm not going to do this um, three books. I'm going to be reading this book, which was chosen by my boyfriend, and he recommended this for me. So why not try it? So this book, The Sand of Death by Simon Beckett, is a crime thriller book. And what makes me interested about this book is that it has forensics. I love watching forensic files and analysts and I am fascinated on how forensics solve a lot of cases. So, um, this is a good one, I think. I hope it's going to be a good one. So today I'm going to be doing a reading vlog for this book, which is about um, the murder of a young pregnant woman. So... Yeah, let's see if I'm gonna like this one or not. Time check, it's 11.10 a.m. So I'm gonna start reading now, The Son of Death. So you guys, it's currently 12.32. Monday afternoon and yes, I don't have work today. That's why I dedicated this day to do a reading vlog and I have reached chapter 4 of this book. I'm currently on chapter 4 and the first chapter is so strong, I guess. So the book is written by a first-person perspective of a forensic anthropologist so I believe our main character is this forensic guy and currently they found a body a young woman who is pregnant inside this abandoned hospital so they are currently examining the body because the body was already decomposed and mummified so it's very hard to tell what happened to that young woman and yeah that's how the story goes so far it's full of like you know forensics and we got a forensic anthropologist and a forensic pathologist in this book but i'm gonna start um reading the chapter four after i finish my lunch because it's lunch time and i'm going to eat so i'll keep you posted again So yeah, I am currently on chapter 10 and this book, The Scent of Death, at first I thought it's gonna be a metaphor like The Scent of Death but it turns out it's literally and figuratively The Scent of Death because 
it talks about um, the forensics and I just learned about this forensic taphonomy which I don't know what it is if it is like similar with forensic anthropologist so the story follows um, on this um, forensic anthropologist David Hunter he is examining the decomposing body of a young pregnant woman and uh, which they found inside this abandoned vast hospital it's a very old vast hospital and later on they found another two um, dead bodies inside this hospital so it's a very large very vast crime scene and it's very difficult case and now they got three dead bodies and they couldn't identify all these bodies so yeah it's it's more like about forensics dna all this stuff and i love watching forensic files like i said but like watching forensic files it's very hard to um watch this kind of um, documentaries because you really have to concentrate and it's way more difficult to read it on paper so it's kind of like a lot of clinical terms it's very hard to read this book is not as heavy as you know Stephen King's books I don't want to compare but since it's a crime um, and mystery thriller and Stephen King is writing also a crime and mystery thriller this is a light um, crime thriller but more on um, clinical terms and you know forensic and DNA and all that kind of medical stuff and yeah it's it's interesting because you're learning something about um, this kind of thing which is very new to me and yeah on the first hundred pages of this book uh, they're still figuring out they have a lot of speculations about this you know unidentified bodies and the first one is for sure a young woman and the other I don't know if they were men I don't know their gender yet but uh, we'll uh, figure it out and with this crime thriller you're also solving the cases so it's like you are um, part of the case you're trying to put the puzzle and also you have your own theory but for now um, since they are focusing more on the the bodies they are trying to find some clues in order to identify this body so you, I don't have much um, theory about what happened but yeah, first um, 100 pages full of information, full of knowledge. And since this book is only 358 pages, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to finish it today or tomorrow, but we'll see. Moving on to the chapter 10 of this book and I'll keep you guys posted. A little update you guys, I'm with this guy who chose this book for me, The Son of Death. How come he chose this book? Because it clicked. Because what? Because I just saw it there. <laughs> so for you Listen. to... So currently I'm on page 122, chapter 12 of the Son of Dead. And so I'm gonna stop reading for now because we're going to eat his favorite McDonald's. All is my favorite. <laughs> Guys, this is our favorite spot when eating our McDonald's, right, baby? Here we are again. So, Mahal. Mm. The book that you gave me, do you know what it's all about? Do you want to know what it's all about? No. It's about forensics. Do you know what forensic means? No. It's about finding evidence. Like they have the scientific tests or techniques in order to find the evidence on a dead body. Mm -hmm. Especially when they are badly decomposed. Mm -hmm. But on the book, they couldn't identify the bodies, the dead bodies. They couldn't identify because it's body decomposed. No fingerprints, no nails, no eyeballs or anything. Mm. So it's very difficult. The case is very difficult. And it's very difficult to read, baby. Mm. About this medical stuff. 
Mm. But I love watching forensic files, right? So what can you say about the book that you chose for me? Something nice. Something nice now? Yeah, because I chose it. Yeah, but I can't figure it out. Like, what happened? Like, mm -hmm. who are these victims and who's the killer? Like, the That's book it. doesn't talk about much. I mean, I'm not attached with the characters yet. And the book talks more about the the abandoned hospital, like how vast it is, and they talk about more about the bodies, how they are figuring out. For me, it's something new. I haven't read this kind of book about um, you know medical stuff, so it's nice. It's nice. So far, it's nice. I mean, it's unique. It's a unique book. It's a unique crime trailer and. It is more forensic work, more, actually it's more um, police work and, you know, investigator and detective, which is, it's nice. But we'll see what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And it's not about, you know, the author doesn't build the characters that strong. I don't know why, it's more... Yeah, you'll see. Yeah, I'll see. It's more forensic, I guess. I can't say anything. Mm -hmm. Currently 9.40 p.m. and I reached home around 8.40 and I read a little. I'm currently on page 152, um, chapter 15. And yeah, I like how short each chapter is because I could just, you know, fly through. It's, I cannot say it's fast pace. Also, it's not slow pace because... It's more on forensics, so it's they're just investigating it. It's just the same story from the very beginning, um, you know, studying the bodies, trying to identify the bodies, and still like that, and still ongoing. So I can't say much um, yet, and so I'm gonna um, take a shower, and then I'm gonna take out all my makeup and do my night time routine and hopefully i can read as much as i can tonight in order to finish it because it only has 358 pages you guys i took a warm bath and i took off all my makeup and i'm really ready for tonight's reading so hi you guys it's already 10 uh, 15 and i'm going to start reading from page 152 chapter 15 and yeah guys good morning it's tuesday and i didn't update you last night but i managed to finish until page 201 there's nothing much to say because there's still um, searching this vast um, old and abandoned hospital if they could find you know more dead bodies but just that and I'm gonna continue reading today and hoping to finish this book within today so see you again So it's currently 10.55. I've been reading since morning around 9.30 and I reached page 240. And what I can say about this book because it only has 358, right? And that it's pure forensic. I am expecting more of like the story of these victims of these dead bodies, but I think there's none of that. 
and it's like I'm reading an academic book like I am taking a course of forensic 101 which I mean I am a fan of forensic I love watching forensic files right and this book is difficult to read because like I said it's about medical terms and it's full of information it's knowledgeable so I will be expecting more like if they're going to find the murderer, the killer of these four dead bodies because we got now four dead bodies inside this old um, abandoned hospital. And I don't know if they're going to find more. And I don't know if... I'll be expecting to have like a story of what happened if, on each victim. But I don't know if it's going to happen with the last um, few more pages in this book. And I'm also excited to see who's this killer because we have this four dead bodies and it if they were killed by um, one single person or a group of people, I don't know. But yeah, this hospital, this old hospital turned into, you know, dumping site of these dead bodies. But um, since this hospital has been abandoned for years, um, the drug addicts were there, the dealers were there, so there's a lot of drugs going on. So... That's how the story goes. Um, not really a gasping story. It's not that wow. It's more on forensics. It's more on like examining the body. Um, I like I like the forensic anthropologist. I guess I'm I'm learning a lot about this kind of you know forensic, which is very interesting. Okay, so it's already eleven forty-five. AM and I'm currently on page 264 well from 250 the story is getting good and we got all these forensic guys the forensic um, the phonemist forensic dentist forensic anthropologist forensic pathologist all these forensic guys but I think they are about to find out who the murderer is because we already have four dead bodies and they're trying to uh, identify these bodies. They have already identified at least three of them. And yes, I am gasping my breath because I am nearly at the end of this book. So yeah. Currently on chapter 27, page 270. And I still find this book very serious and academic not much humor but it's not that bad i mean it's very um knowledgeable i guess full of information it's very unique so yeah so you guys it's already 2 55 in the afternoon and i just finished the scent of that and it was not fun right it was a mixed emotion like i use a lot of my brain cells to finish this book because it's difficult to read and i love the forensic scientists in this book and um the last 50 pages were so good came to a point where they found the murderer right the killers of this um four bodies and they found two more um dead bodies but not inside the St. Jude um, Hospital. But anyway, um, I thought the story, you know, came to an end. But the, the story kept going. So once they found this murderer, the story didn't stop. And I was like, why? What, what ha what's happening? Like, 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 it's supposed to be done, right? But the story kept going. And then I realized that something might happen. And then the biggest twist happened at the last um few pages of this book which is good i liked it i loved it the story that i was expecting came in the end they wrap it up so good in the end um the story uh was well put together so i like it i love it and it was a serious book like an academic book so um this book is not that wow i mean it's more like a um, examining of these dead bodies because we have this main character a forensic anthropologist and it's a pure police work and forensics 
and then I like how they describe this old vest um, hospital like you know the corners the rooms and everything it's it's well written it, when it comes to that the author is um, very attentive to details so anyway I'm gonna give this for four stars because I did like it it's um, its own uniqueness I am very pleased that I have read a book like this, like a forensics and DNA, and I haven't expected that this book will be all about it. It's so um, pure forensic file, and you could see the the work, the police work, the detectives, the investigators, and all these forensic scientists, and it was a difficult job, it was difficult work, but um, since... They solved this um, difficult case. I was, um, you know, satisfied. It is an accomplishment for me to finish this book since I was reading it yesterday morning and I finished it today's afternoon. So, yeah. So, I think that's it for this reading vlog, you guys. So, I'll see you again soon. Peace out.